Hey everybody, it's me again. Uh, it's Tuesday and uh, I'm coming to you with a vlog. It's going to be a little bit of a different vlog today. We'll, we'll get into that in just a moment. First thing I want to say is uh, continued prayers for the victims of the senseless tragedy that happened in Vegas yesterday or Sunday night when these people had gathered to to enjoy a, a, a show and were just brutally shot by a man who they have no idea why he did it. I mean, it, it's just horrible, horrible, horrible. I woke up very early yesterday morning and was looking at my phone and saw where it had been a shooting and two people were dead and all morning it had kept growing the casualty number. And I just couldn't believe it. I had tears in my eyes. I, I prayed about it and I prayed for those people. And uh, I still pray for him today. I prayed for him this morning as I traveled up the road to my doctor's office or my doctor's visit. I had to travel up the road for that. But anyway, continue to pray for them, everybody involved. Continue to pray for the police, the firefighters, the paramedics, the first responders who were there. Vegas, man, they showed out with that. They Those guys jumped in there. They did a great job, but they saw a lot of horror yesterday. So pray for them. Pray for everybody. Most of all, pray for this country. Because, man, um, update on my doctor's visit. Went pretty good. Dr. Moore, uh, he, he likes what he sees. He says it's healing, and that's good. That's good. So um, today I'm, I'm going to do something that's extremely hard for me to do. It's extremely hard. I, this video quality is not very good, but it, it, it's okay. You can see me. Um. For almost a year now, I've, I've had to deal with this, this foot issue. I've had 12 surgeries, 12 or 13 surgeries, and I still have to have one more to finish it. I've been in and out of the hospital on two extended stays, two different times for 40 days. I had a job with Mission up till just a month or so ago, a couple months ago, when they decided that they, they restructured the department and they didn't need me no more. They kept me for a long time even though I wasn't working. I haven't worked since February when I had to go back for a second surgery and my second stay in the hospital. So it's been tough. My good friend Susan, I, I can't say enough about her. You know, when I was in the hospital for my second 42-day stay, I lost my apartment. And her and her dad, who I love, he's awesome. He's helped me out a bunch, too. And her brother went all the way to Hendersonville, loaded all the stuff out of my apartment, my clothes, my furniture, everything, everything that I owned, and brought it back here. And I've been staying with her ever since. This is my room. This is my bed. Um, and I don't know what I would have done without her. She's been above and beyond a good friend. And I don't know that I'll ever be able to repay her for everything she's done. She just, she's awesome. But she has a home here that she takes care of. She works full time and she's got a, a handicapped person living here. So I have, I've not had any income coming in. And it's been hard. You know, I, I, I'm i holding on. I was holding on to just a little bit of money that I had. And today I used the last of that money to put gas in my car to go to the doctor. My doctor's in Asheville. I'm in Morganton. And I go up there at least once a week to see him. So I'm going to do something that I don't do because I'm full of pride. Pride's a sin, but I'm full of it. For a year, I've gotten by. I've done what I needed to do. I had some help from some people too, though. I mean, I had, I mentioned Susan's dad earlier. He, bless his heart, he's a retiree. He's a scrapper. He's a scrappy little thing too. And he helped me just out of nowhere. But And I paid him back. I paid him back for sure because he didn't have to do that. Anyway, I'm decided I'm going to start a GoFundMe page 
for some help. Asking for help is not something I do easily. I, I don't. Susan will tell you that. My good close friends will just tell you that I just don't ask for help. And when I was in the hospital, I would people would call and say, can we bring you something? No, I'm good. Because I just didn't feel like I, I should ask for anything. And by the way, the last time I was in the hospital, poor old Susan kept the roads burn up because of Diet Mountain Dew and cashew peanuts. That's what I lived on. Believe it or not, I don't drink. I drink a couple of Diet Mountain Dews, not like I did. And I quit eating cashews. I got a whole half a can in there. I, I may go eat some here in a little bit. But anyway, so I, I'm, I'm going to start a GoFundMe page. I'm going to attach this video to it. And I'm going to ask for help. Um, I have four bills that I have to pay and that's not counting food. I, I mean, I can't keep asking Susan to buy me food. It's not really her place to do that. I mean, I'm kind of like a, a roommate. I'm a boarder here and she shouldn't have to do that. I mean, she, she has her own bills to pay for. Thank God she has been buying me food. She has been, she's not going to, she's not going to let me go hungry no matter what, but it's not my place to do that. First of all, too, I have reached out to the Department of Social Services for help from Medicare, Medicaid, whatever it is, even foods, even a, a food stamps to help me get food. And it's all in the process. I mean, it's crazy. I've applied for Social Security disability. I don't plan on being disabled forever. I plan on going back to work as soon as this foot's better. But right now, this is where I'm at. Okay. So I have four bills I have to pay. I have to pay car payment, car insurance, a cell phone, and a doctor bill. Let's go back to the cell phone. People say, do you really need a cell phone? Well, yeah, I kind of do need a cell phone because I have to call the doctor's offices. They call me. I'd really like to stay in touch with my family, and I would like to stay in touch with my friends. My phone is my lifeline right now. So, yeah, I, I want to pay that. Car payment, I definitely got to pay because I got to drive up and down the mountain, and to drive that car, I have to have insurance. I have no credit card debt whatsoever, none. I, I don't have any other bills. That's it. That's the four big necessities. And the doctor bills for Dr. Moore. My big doctor bills at Mission and St. Joe's are taken care of. They're done. But I still have to pay Dr. Moore. And Dr. Moore knows this. He has helped me. This man is the most unbelievable doctor. If you ever got foot problems, you better go see him. Because the man will take care of you. He knows that what I'm going through. And he's like, look, just come. I want to take care of you. We'll put it on a bill. Pay some as you can. And I haven't been able to pay him in a few weeks, so I'd really like to be able to give him some. So I'm asking for help today. That's what I'm asking for. My insurance is due like yesterday. Now, if just to show you that I'm just not asking for cash, if for whatever reason you decide you want to be generous and pay my car insurance or something, call me or send me a message. I'll give you the phone number to my insurance company and you can call in for yourself and know that I that that's what I need it for. It's not to go out to eat or go buy clothes or something stupid or travel. You know, I'm going to be able to do all that again one day. So I'm asking for help today. That's what I'm doing. And it's hard for me to do. And yeah, I've been I've been selling some stuff, but I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I mean, this bedroom furniture, that's it's mine. It's paid for. I mean, I'm going to need all this when I get back on my feet and I move out and get my own place again. I'm going to need this. So, I, you know, I don't want to sell my furniture. I don't want to sell everything, but I got some stuff for sale. Anyway, I don't want to go over 10 minutes on this. I just want you to know that's what I'm doing. If you can help, thank you. If you can't help, it's okay. I understand everybody's got their challenges in the world today. But I love you and I thank you. And uh, just keep continuing to pray for me, too. And I'll pray for you. Thank you. I love you. Talk to you guys later.